I'm sure everybody understand like how strong is the CPL. The CPL you have like a, the chance to finish the mat. You not only have the, same, the chance to finish the mat, but the person doesn't really see the the the, the attack comes. You know, I mean, it's different than the mall that you, you're looking and you have to, sh the hands keep coming. But when you have a belt, whenever the person like get a little bit distracted, try to get out, the hand can just kind of swing and get on the neck. So we know that, how, how, how important is the belt. But we have to understand like how, when we start losing the seatbelt, when the seatbelt is starts to become loose and off and then you have to adjust. Because we need to hold, we need to, we need to condition arms to, to maintain the position. But if you start losing, you cannot just be holding the position. You start losing, and then you start just holding. And then suddenly you, you start holding the person on the bottom, and the person on top, and you're just holding that. So we have to realize when the move start getting a little bit off, and you have to fix a little bit. You know? Can come, Scott? Can you go on your knees? So guys, I, I, I must have my chest right on the line of his shoulder. And my head can measure like with, with his head, and I don't want his head fast. I want to stay like this. But any moment, like a we spin, can you roll? Get on top, get on top. No, no, come back. Just keep rolling. Okay. Go back. So any moment we roll, get in low. And I realize like I'm getting a little bit off. I don't want to just squeeze and just squeeze, and then the person just kind of find his way. So any moment I will, we, we start to scramble. He tries scramble. He tried to get out of the position and we keep following him. And he realized the movie starts to kind of like slip out. You're not really like flat on him. You start to come out of the position. We cannot just be holding. We have to kind of like adjust. You gotta catch up because probably he got a little bit ahead of, of the spinning. So I have my hook inside. I have one hook. I was fighting to put the second hook. I have this, and I go a little bit like off. If I stay, if I just hold a little longer, maybe I'm gonna hold the position until I get tired, and then you'll come out. So I'm not, I'm not gonna wait to, to make you get tired. I start to realize that I'm losing the position, I'm losing the position, I'm losing the position. So before his hold, before his shoulder starts to come out, I need to get on top. But I cannot do something like this. Like, I'm just get myself on top because I need to get on top. I get on top and I lose the position, the person recover. If he has a good guard, he recover. If he has a good rest and he get back on his feet and I just lose the whole position. So, I have the seat belt, but I'm a little bit off to the side. His back is not cover. The seat belt is not doing what I'm supposed to do. So I have to get on top quick. When I say on top quick, like I have to like climb on top without take too long, without kind of break the position. So I have to climb with, with my, with my seat belt without have to release anything, without have to post my, my hand, without has, I have to post my, my elbow. So it's most like my leg rocking, leg rocking, my knee pulls. If my, if my hip is on the floor, it's hard to climb. If it, just my foot is on the floor, it's hard to push up. I need to, put my knee quick on the floor, at the same time that I, I continue with the seat belt. So I have this, this knee pulse. And this knee pulse, because sometimes you get on top and then he throws you back. And then you get on top, and then he throws you back. So if, you're, if you don't get on top and kind of like, a, like ground your weight, because that's, that's what the knee does. That knee is not just gonna post over there, but fighting so you don't fall back again. So I'm fighting to get on top, and that knee has to get on, on the ground, has to be ground, has to be kind of giving the, the, the base to be on top. And everything to cover his back. His back cannot be like loose and moving and spinning and getting off of my control. So same thing. I have this belt, I'm a little bit on the side, rock your leg. Knee comes out and they cover. But all these without open up this. Everything kind of like and keep side. If I have to keep rolling, if I have to keep chasing his back, I have more chance to maintain the back than before. You know. Let's start on your knees, guys, and you just get a little bit shift to the side. We you already have the grip, but you get on top without open up and without close your hand. 
Only use the moment of your leg and the base of your knee. Let's go try, guys. Thank you. I, I, I was trying to find a, a place and an angle that everybody can see what I was trying to describe. But that move can kind of like a, a slide off either way. Sometimes you can be too high and then your hips on the floor. Sometimes you can be falling on the floor, but then your knees still on the floor. So like a, so depend like a, depend on how how off you're going. Like I'm feeling, I don't even have to touch my shoulder, my head on the floor. Like just a little bit. Like I, I know I need, I need to just kind of come up on top. Sometimes you can really feel the ground. He has his elbow, but if his elbow is not on the floor, I can really feel the floor. So everything kind of slightly change a little bit. But the most important, his shoulder cannot come out. His shoulder cannot come out. I, I need to keep a lot of like, pressure on this shoulder. Don't let this shoulder kind of come out. So, and now, if you get to one point over here, guys, the person start to turn. Turn, turn, turn. Uh, to roll. And then you see opportunity of the neck. You know, he, he, he's going to try and move. If you see opportunity of the neck, just go forward. And you're not necessarily gonna have his back, but if you have his neck from his back, you're gonna be good. So for example, if I go on top and he stuck, and I got his neck over here, I don't really need the seat belt. I don't really need to kind of like, not even like a, a, I go to a full toe, but as long like his back doesn't go on the mat, I'll be good. So if you see the neck open, especially so that he's gonna, he's gonna try roll. If you have a chance to get on his neck, just lock his neck. So, after you get on top and the person start roll, you see the neck open, just go forward. So I have this. So I have this and I feel, just go forward. And then this hand, I don't wanna have this hand on top. I wanna have this hand in between. If, I'm, if I wasn't able to get this hand over here, just lock in like a tight choke without having to go on your biceps. And as you lock him, now you can keep pulling, but let's just finish with the choke from there. That's okay, guys.